we had a request uh, from the city council mm-hmm. put out to the churches to say we've got a homelessness problem in the city could you possibly set up a night shelter As a result of that, various churches came together and then Hope Coventry became involved. I mean, I I offered this building knowing that I was unlikely to get many volunteers from the congregation. And we put uh, the word out uh, through the local press and we were just flooded with people. I coordinate this venue, which means I'm responsible for making sure it's it's available and it's ready, it's got the resources it needs. Volunteers will arrive and and they're setting up the beds, putting the the beds out, putting out the sleeping bags and the pillows um, and the liners. Seven o'clock doors open and the guests will begin to arrive. We check them in. We have 20 booked in and we have three who are on a waiting list. But people will claim their bed and they'll settle down. I mean the first thing they do is eat. Eat. You know, eat the the food and we, we try as best we can to for a good crowd of people to sit down together. Food tonight will be provided by a Sikh organisation called Midland Langer Siva. So the the evening shift are on until ten o'clock, yeah. and then the night shift are on from ten till seven. Their big fear is that we were going to have a lot of drunks and drug addicts. Yeah. Now, that's not to say alcohol and drugs are not a problem, but the reality is. What we will get, particularly on a a day like today, is some cold, wet, tired people. We can take time. We can take time to get to know people. We can take time to treat people as human beings, not as um, statistics. And whilst I began by thinking, oh, none of the congregation will get involved, actually they have got involved. You know, and, and they're there you know, they'll be there serving teas and coffees and part of it. They support us financially. They support us um, prayerfully. Fantastic. Thanks, Craig.